Ranveer Anurag, I read that this film actually went into production in 2014. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So when something takes so long, how do you sustain passion? Hmm. It's tough. It's tough. In, in between, there were times like, you know, uh, frustrating times, you know, it's, it's not getting finished. Yeah, there were times like that. But, you know, we all were so much in love with this uh, film and we didn't want to compromise at any point of time. And and uh, I think this film would have, if you've seen hindsight, this film would have taken this much time only because it's a musical. If I would have made music soundtrack ready of all the two and a half hours, I think it would have taken the same time. I think so. <laughs> but how do you stay in love for that long? To be honest, uh, you don't. You can't. Uh, at least I don't have that in me. But, and I've had this experience working with him before on Burfi, he does a lot of work for you, you know. He creates your performance through his camera, through his music, through like some treatment he's doing. Every scene there is treatment, you know. It's not just two people sitting and talking. It's not that kind of a film. Um, so there were many frustrating, even more frustrating times for, for me, for Katrina. Uh, you know, there were times like two years back I messaged Ara saying that, you know, let's share the film. You know, I don't think it's... You did reach that We point. did, of yeah, course. Yeah. You know, we, we abused each other. <laughs> you say, never, like, I will destroy this film, I will leave this film. But I think at the heart of everything, he just believed in the story. And we just had, you know, it was very simple. It was basically just to rewind to the time when Dada came to me and narrated the story to me. And that story was really nice. And that story was beautiful. And, and if you just think of that, that's the purpose. The rest is just how the film is being made, right? So today when I see the film and when I saw the film, uh, you know, it just took me back to that time. Okay, he's made that film, what he narrated three and a half years back. So if it took three and a half years or six months, it wouldn't matter. At the end, the film has to be what the film we set out to be. Right? So is that, is what you saw um, very close to the original vision that you set out as a director, as a co-producer? It's much larger than that because he added the musical aspect, the adventure, the treatment, the comedy, the romance. But the story, the core story, which was the emotional father-son story or the journey that uh, Jagga and Shruti go on, uh, I think that was very, very close to what he had done it to. You know, of course, one of the, the issues was the unraveling of your relationship with Katrina. And you all said that, you know, it didn't finally impact on the film and it was, you know, everybody was very professional. But Anurag, just as a director, did you have a sort of moment of utter and complete panic that now I'm doomed? I did uh, because uh, first day after the, all this news and breakup news came over and they were coming and joining the set. But I realized the very first day that, you know, they're trying to concentrate more, they're trying to focus more. I think that has really helped me as a director. I've been self very selfish, you know, because they were... You have to be, yeah. Yeah, so, and, but, you know, they were like concentrating. What It must have been very difficult for both of them, but actually they were trying hard, trying hard to be professional first two, three days, I remember. But after that, I think, and uh, what? No, I'm just saying that before that, you were unprofessional. No, you're not unprofessional. <laughs> you're not unprofessional, but you know, there was nothing, um, it never, it never affected. It's not that I'm giving any some politically right answer, but that's a fact. I mean, are you able to do this because you can come compartmentalize in your head? I don't know what I'm being able to do. I, to be honest, the core purpose of me being alive today is acting. I'm working on a film which I love. I'm working with a director I love. I'm working on a material that I love. Uh, so. And Katrina is exactly or even more passionate than me. You know, she wants the best for the film. She's someone who's always wanted me to shine. Even though we're in the same frame together, she wants me to do better. And the creative partnership I have with her is is, is everlasting, according to me. Uh, you know, people have loved her in our, in our first two films together. And I hope that we can sustain it with this film. But there was no thought like how we are doing this. I think the frustrating part was just the time the film took. But there was no like negative dynamic between me and Katrina ever on this one. Tell me, it looks from the promos, from what we've seen so far, um, it reminded me of Tintin. Um, you know, the adventures. Anurag, as a director, because you got flack for Barfi and for, for echoing so many other films in Barfi, were you more mindful as you were making this? You know, to be honest, let me answer this question before he does, is when I saw the film, see, with Barfi, it got a lot of love. It uh, did, it, A lot of love. And there was a, a, a section uh, which said, you know, it was plagiarized, it was, you know, lifted from Chaplin. Uh, Buster Keaton and stuff like that. So he's then went and made a film which has no reference, you know, because he's, see, there is form and content, right? You play with the form, but your content has to be same. Right? You can play the content and your form can change. But he's meshed with both. 
so like he's made a film where i don't have a reference you know so if you ask me how much this film will do or who it appeals to and and all of that yes it's a family film it's for the entire spectrum of, of the age group but i can't reference it you know i can't say it's like lion king or it's like jungle book or it's like barfi i don't know i don't know that yeah not really no barfi really because you know this if you remember the making of the barfi which came before barfi we i openly admitted to it's not that you know I I know it is not that I was doing it and then people huh. came to know about it. That was the purpose from very beginning. And uh, when you say in the film making this is what I'm inspired and this is what it is. But you know people uh, took it very negatively and just because and then you feel sad. No I I never thought I'm doing this you know I just trying to recreate that magic and because when I saw artists and other films which were doing and you see Lala Land right now I wonder what Indian critics will say with La La Land, with all the musicals sequences. Uh, so uh, no, this had no. Uh, it, None it, of that impacted on this. Not really, because you know uh, there is always uh, there are memories of all these Feludas and Tinti. I mean, when you're growing up, it's always there, back of the mind. But it is nowhere close to anything which I have read and I have seen, which was your yeah, conscious decision while making the film. Yes. I mean, you've often talked about how. Uh, non-expressive you are in life uh, and you've said how your friends and your family don't even know when uh, you're going through a hard time or you're upset how does somebody who's inexpressive in life become such an amazing actor are the two not connected you know i think i just get a reason to express when i'm in front of the camera i feel that is uh, that is my purpose to be in front of the camera and it's easier to express in front of the camera than it's in real life for me I don't know why it's a bit bizarre, but I find it way more easier to express in front of a camera. I can, I can, I can be more naked in front of the camera than sit in a room with a person and and talk about my life. Really? Yeah. And but this sort of shyness or whatever it is in life doesn't when when you are in front of a camera, you. It's not that you know my mother was always afraid because I was always an introvert. I was always shy. I was never expressive. But no, I think this is my personality. I'm not trying to fake it. I'm not trying to be artificial. as long as i'm trying to just better myself and become the best version of myself i think it's good and you don't feel compelled to express anything in life other than what you're doing no i'm good <laughs> <laughs> you know you also said that in this new lot of movies jaga and and the sanjay dad biopic and ayan superhero film uh, you want to sort of reinvent yourself you want to be new did you manage to do that i don't know Uh, like I said, but do you when you see yourself? Of course, the intention was was to challenge myself again as an actor, and I think I did. Uh, also, I can't give myself credit. It's also the parts that came to me, the directors that came to me, uh, that helped me challenge that. And uh, there are new the new characters, the new dynamics, the new people, uh, the people who I didn't know. There was never any point when I was at work, I was like, okay, this is easy. Constantly, there's a struggle, you know. Uh, every day, and that's how it's supposed to be. But until the film is out, until the audience doesn't see, I don't know if I've bettered myself or not. If I'm new, uh, but I've tried to be that. You know, you said this in this lovely interview in a book called Director's Diaries. Um, you know, he has this amazing description of the director's life. <laughs> you said it's like a dog crossing a really a busy highway. A busy highway. <laughs> <laughs> dog makes in the beginning middle or end can be fatal uh, and he's just trying to cross this this street um i think with this film he's a blind and mute dog crossing <laughs> a busy highway it's not just a dog crossing yeah. a busy highway matlab <laughs> jacked from all angles <laughs> oh, yeah completely i think i don't know why <laughs> oh that's a great analogy yeah i thought so i yeah. thought it was it was lovely so in this very precarious life that you lead as a director what do you love the most going on set every day and trying to to find something new it's very difficult when you finish one film what film to start next what will excite you is a big question what i should make next so when you find that love you know that story which will excite you so every day going on set and trying to this is really exciting i've never been the day i'll get bored on the set the that day i'll you know quit film making really yeah yeah I the day I'll wait for the pack up and day I should get over. I think I'll quit filmmaking. I think that's what keeps me going. And does that excitement? That's why I shoot for so long. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at it. <laughs> does he ask? For, 
why does the shoot take so long? Do you ask for many takes? Does no, he it do doesn't. that? Like, it's honest, not that David Fincher thing, like 89 all. takes no, and all that. No, 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 no takes. You no. come on set huh. and he explains the scene. He does my part, he does Katrina's part, he does Saurabhji's part. You see it and then you go do it. Uh, and then you look and he's already gone to the next set. So like, it's not even like he's like, you know, torturing you or pushing you. He knows what he wants and he gets that. Of course, if it's not working, he will push that extra. But no, maximum two, three takes. I really don't want this. Was, this was like, you know, this is this film. I was like, how much shooting? We used to get, you know, there's so much of left to do, 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 continuously. Anyway, this is your 10th year yeah. as an actor. 10th year. Yeah, 10th year indeed. So, yes. so, so tell me, what 10 years, 14 films, and I just came to know, 14 new movies. Amazing. Your yeah. senior. Yeah, yeah. No, no, 14. How many are you? I'm 14. How many are you? That's what I'm saying. I'm your senior. Yeah, yeah, I'm senior. Show some respect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I do. Tell me, is there, what's the most practical advice you've ever got about acting? I'm not talking about like oh, wow. philosophy. Yes, I'm talking yes, about yes. a ritual that you follow to be a better actor. It's very simple and I've spoken about this before, is a real love between the actor and director. I think that's where it all starts, you know. There has to be that kind of trust, surrender and love. And once you have that, it everything just flows. So I, I, I'm, I can't work in conflict. You know, I can't work when I feel the director doesn't like me or the director is too judgmental about me. Um, no, be judgmental about me because if you're judgmental about me, it also feels like you care about me. But somebody who's a little, uh, you know, cold and a little like you do your thing, I'll do my thing. Uh, I think I get thrown off. So my simple process has been just be the, just marry the director, you know, <laughs> that's, that's what the process is. Really? Yeah. Just he's a naughty girl, I'm married but <laughs> I have to do it. <laughs> so wayward. <laughs> Taming me. <with> all this. <laughs> because like he said, like direction is about a dog crossing a busy highway. An actor is a tick on that dog who doesn't know what the traffic and all, but he's just going with the dog, hoping that he's going to make that person know, reach somewhere. So we are ticks. You know? Yes, we are, we are unfortunate, we are, you know, because all fleas. the hates and flops in this blame on to actors. But yeah, no, it's but we take the lion's share of the credit also. Yeah, so it's. <laughs> but tell me this, you know, Shahrukh always says that he needs to work with people he loves. Right. So. Is that, is that what it has to be? There has to be love? Because do you well, not then, then can... miss out on maybe really talented people who might be just hard to work with? Yeah, but how many f filmmakers can I work with in my career? You know, it takes so long to make a film. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't think... Pointed you... look in your direction? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think... I'm We're doing this. I, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. Uh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying the time. It's taken, I'm enjoying the people I'm meeting, I'm enjoying fights, I'm enjoying the conflict with him sometimes. Fights you know, we course. abuse each other also. Achha, how do you abuse each other? Matlab, what level of I values do you fuck off do? and you know, he's also said, okay, you go fuck off. I'm gonna like yeah, destroy Hindi this. Hindi I'm Hindi gonna Hindi destroy Hindi? this film. This is gonna be the worst film in the history of, of <laughs> I'm going to say. Like purposely destroy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then we know now both of us want to make a good film out of this, yeah. But no, uh, we had this SMS fight. We can't fight when you, yeah, you no. in person. Oh, so it's an SMS fight. And then fight. we had this yeah. SMS fight. Then we shot also a couple of days, and I thought things were fine. After like twelve days of shoot, and suddenly he comes to me and says, "Chal peace now." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "But we've been at peace in the last day. so I didn't know that he had conflict in his head. <laughs> so your fighting is not very effective. Not, not at all. He doesn't even know okay, you're fighting. Not <laughs> But you know, having said that, to be honest, to be fair to him, on this film, he's been a lone soldier. You know, it's not that we've also supported him that much. Yes, we've been on set and you know, that's the least we could do. But um, we have, we've done other stuff, we've done other films, we've gone out, we've distracted ourselves. Uh, but he's been at it, man. You know, it's like that. He's really stayed in love. He has, and, and that's really admirable. And I don't think, I mean, to be honest, there's a it point It was an eight lane highway, yeah. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a massive high no, scene. <laughs> but uh, I think he managed well, yeah. you know. I think he, near escapes, cars got entangled and banged each other, but he was, he, he was going to the other side safely. But the dog is fine and the tick is fine and the tick too. is good. The dog is fine and the tick is good. <laughs> you had said in an interview that I want everyone in this country to know me and like me. And until they do that, I'm not going to be a big star. Is that still a dream? Of course. 
I mean, I think for every actor, that is the dream, that is the goal. Of course, I have to prove myself as an actor and, you know, my art has to be good, but I also need to be loved, you know. And uh, then this question of, you know, people say that I'm a recluse or, you know, people don't know me, I'm not on social media. Because people need to get to know you. People have to see you and say, okay, you know, we like you. And that's very important for an actor's career. It's not only the work you do, it's also what are you as a person, how much are you giving them, uh, you know, what are your weak moments. They have to root for you. Uh, which I feel I'm really lacking in that department because people don't really know me too well. You know, people know me with the things that's written about me, which is grossly misconstrued and, you know, all of it is false. Uh, but I'm just taking it for granted or I'm being very hopeful that people are enjoying my work and eventually, in these next 15, 20 years, they'll get to know me. But you won't do social media? I, I don't feel the need to. I'm lazy and I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the, with the way I've designed my life. It's very simple and it's peaceful and, and it's, it's, it's creative. And, uh, and it's joyful. And you're not looking for shortcuts for them to get to know you? I don't think social media is a shortcut. I think it's even more work, you know. It because is work. I have to like kind of now try and be this person, you know, impress people with my wit, with my with my <laughs> photography skills, with, you know, my, 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 so many things. And, you know, I don't have all that, man, you know. So why should I put myself on another platform where I have to constantly impress, you know, I already have one platform which is hard enough. I don't need another one. You wish everybody on it. Yeah, I mean, this I, the thing is that I'm quite like uh, surprised by how well people use social media yeah. because it's a daunting task, you know, to actually be engaging and entertaining constantly, you know, because whatever you post, whatever you, any picture, any tweet and all, it's like there are so many meanings and layers taken behind it that you have to be so clear. If somebody has won a badminton a championship, you have to tweet about it. It's Amiji's birthday, you have to wish him. Uh, Amiji's wished you on your birthday, you have to say thank you. You know? <laughs> uh, it's too much. It's too much, Baba. <laughs> well, I have to say, we're impressed enough. You know my line about Ranbir, no? it's like he had me at hello. So, so we're impressed enough, you don't need to do it. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Anubhav. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Hi guys, this is Ranbir and uh, if you guys have liked this video, then please subscribe to Film Companion. Same page.